In the animal world, songbirds have the most incredible capacity for vocal learning. Budgies, parrots, minor birds, and canaries are champions of vocalization modulations. Back in the 18th century, people would have fun playing tunes from musical boxes to canaries. An experiment along these lines is being carried out today at a laboratory in the University of Nanterre in France, where scientists are trying to understand the language of birds. Birds acquire the language through learning, and it has recently been discovered that they even have dialects. Aristotle already observed that from one region to another, birds of the same species did not produce exactly the same song. He noted geographical variations, which we refer to today as dialects, in reference to human language. To examine this phenomenon, we cannot place adults, children and babies on an island to see how their language emerges over the course of time, because it would take far too long. But an experiment like that can be done with birds, for example. And that's what we're doing here at Nanterre. In this experiment, Sébastien de Regnacourt has isolated a colony of zebra finches. In natural conditions, each male zebra finch produces a different song. But here, in the laboratory, we've managed to train the birds to produce the same song. We proceeded by using playback. The young birds were isolated during their juvenile development stage. We left them to reproduce for several generations to see how their song evolved within the colony in which all the males sing the same song. By being exposed to a single song generation after generation, would the males reproduce it ad infinitum or would they add their own variations to it? The isolation experiment lasted for one year and involved six generations of birds. The results were that we managed to create artificial dialects among the zebra finches because we see that after several generations within our colonies, the males produce roughly the same song. So then we can try with these artificial dialects, artificial social groups, to see if a female will prefer a male that sings the same song as her group over a male from a different group. Once two groups can be differentiated by their song, the scientists have observed that the females are more attracted by the song of their own group than by the other. As the saying goes, birds of a feather stick together. In fact, the song that they use to attract a sexual partner acts as a barrier to prevent crossbreeding. The birds reproduce more readily within a group that is united by the same dialect. Over the generations of lineage, the group will gradually become isolated from other groups evolving differently from them before diverging totally. And we end up, after thousands or millions of years, with two different species which, when they come across each other again, will not be able to reproduce. Nearly half of the 10,000 existing bird species are born as a result of diversification of their branch via song. Animal communication, therefore, also plays a role in the general evolution of species.